Well, hello, man cavers. What are we doing today? Well, I thought we would have a little look round and have a look at some bits that I've picked up recently off rallies and various people. A few bits that you haven't seen yet. So we'll have a jam outside. I don't think there's anything in here you haven't seen. I think there is. We'll have a jam outside and look at some bits we've got. And also, have I ever shown you my Bollands? My little Bollands garden tractor, the little G10, 1055. Did I ever show you that? I can't remember. I picked that up a few months ago from Wharton, but I don't remember if I've ever actually showed it on the channel. So let's go have a look at some bits we've got. All right, back in a minute. <laughs> All right, we will start in the shed. You've all seen my band saw, I do believe, what we got from Swapham Auction. You've all seen the generator here. That You've seen that at various rallies. Couple of other bits in there I did notice I have got. This thing, which I picked up the other day from a rally. It's a, it's quite a heavy, it's quite on a quite a heavy base. Ah! You have to excuse the state of my shed. I haven't turned around yet. It is an open-ended generator. I know it's modern. It's got modern plugs, serpentine belt. Some guy has rigged it up on this thing. But it is quite a heavy sort of external open generator. I know you're going to say that's not old. I know it isn't old. In fact, it's Chinesium. It actually says on it, Choo Cha Choo. Look, there we are. Choo Cha Choo. So this is China's best. But apparently it does do some sort of generating. I haven't never tried it. That's one thing we're going to get to it. And if I can get this thing generating any sort of power... Let's see if we can age this thing. Maybe lose this, put a V-bell on there instead, or a little sprocket or something, and take them stupid stickers off and sort of rough this surface up a bit, hand paint it, change these wiring plugs for something a bit older. Do you know what I mean? See if we can fool people and get this thing looking just a little bit older than it is. Maybe run that a little engine. I don't know. My mate George... He gave me this little powered, this little powered fret saw, scroll saw, whatever you want to call it. There it is. You've seen the compressor. You have seen, yep, you have seen the new bench grinder. Have you seen the backdrop I've put on there? Haven't I looked cool? I've blocked some of my windows off and I've put a backdrop on there and hung the micrometers. All my loose tools are there. And my other micromas that are in boxes are in the drawers. So I've left the ones in the boxes in the drawers. I haven't hung up. Also, I can't remember who you was, but you bought me an angle poised lamp minus the head. You just bought it's a heavy cast base, a lovely arm. And somebody bought that to a rally for me. I think they bought it to 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 uh, probably Strumpshaw. I can't remember your name, but thank you very, very much for bringing me this arm. I have got my horrible, cheap angle poise lamp and took the head off and wired it onto this arm, bolted it to the bench, and now we have a work light for the lathe. Absolutely brilliant, and it does make, even with all these lights in this shed, I've got ten lights in here, all this daylight, this lamp directly over the lathe, makes a big difference really really good i can certainly see why lathers and turners have these things now it's absolutely brilliant right we'll step outside and see what other bit oh yes somebody bought me another spare electric motor to Haddenham last week thank you very much bud it's in pride of place here so we have a spare electric motor for our lathe because this one I've got on here, the original one, one third horsepower, that um, worked for a while then blew the trip. I had this one on the shelf, but that's only a little quarter horse. I'll put it on and it is working and I haven't found it underpowered yet. But if I do, 
Someone kindly bought me this half horse. So all good. We have a half horse motor on standby if I ever do come into trouble with that little quarter. Thank you very much. Right, we'll head outside now and see what else we have. Of course, there are various bits and pieces that I have got recently that I'm not sure you guys have actually seen. All right, tires, you saw them the other day. Oh, an update on the Rustin. Our Rustin diesel is temporarily on this trailer. The silly trolley it was on, we've cut the wheels off that because they were stupid. Why someone put wheels on the top instead of under slinging them, I don't know. This is now on this trailer. It's not staying here. Um, my buddy come over and helped me and we were sort of in agreement that there's too much weight on the front and we didn't want the arse of this hanging off the back of the trailer too much. So there is another trailer coming tomorrow. How many trailers have we got? Talking of trailers. My mate Jeffrey kindly gave me this trailer. I had a trip over his the other day and yeah, we took a list of CS off here, of course he had his CS on here, and we lifted the CS off, and um, yeah, we've got this trailer. Initially, I was going to put that engine on it, but this engine is on its own frame, with its own stand, coolant tank, diesel tank, it's all set up. This trailer has the stand for coolant tank, diesel tank, so I could just take that engine off and put on there and put them tanks on here. But it's like, hmm, I have something else to go on here. A list of CS comes off. Wait to see what comes back on. You might be able to guess what's going back on. Hmm. Right. What have we got down here? Bits and pieces. There we go. These also come off my buddy Jeffrey. Uh, he was having a clear out and decided to get rid of some of this stuff while he was moving house. So I picked up a jockey wheel. I picked up a whatever this is, some form of vacuum pump, water pump. Another vacuum pump here. Oh, that's quite a good one. There we are. We have this bit of a sheep shearing set off a list of sheep shearing set. I quite like that. And if we look under this cover... There's a tin cover here, these two straps, I thought handy bits of galvanise, we'll keep them. What's under this cover, you say? Well, let's have a lift off, and you can see, there we are. Under here, we have a diaphragm water pump. That's something a little bit different. You're wondering, how on earth does that drive? There is a sprocket on the end there, and a chain hanging. So I'm assuming at some point... There was either an electric motor or a small engine there with a chain drive that drove this thing. I don't know. He wanted new homes for these things. I thought, let's give it a go. What we're going to do with that, I don't know. But it's nice. It's got its original cover. I do quite like that. I was saying, so you've seen the trailer. You've seen this stuff. Oh, this grass needs cutting a bit. Nice up there, but getting a bit dodgy here you've seen the wheel horse before you've obviously seen the bonza before on the bonza trailer you haven't seen this thing which i'm doing for my mate trev he wants to next year at stradset he wants to get into miniature tractor pulling so he bought this thing down which has got a fault with the gear drive in the hub there never seen such a wide damn thing in all my life Look how wide it is. There we go. And he said, can we convert this to a puller? She has the Lombardini diesel. There she goes. Assuming that runs, really don't know. But yes, we have the Lombardini diesel. The extra wide rear axle. So we're going to make this for Trev. I like the little bathtub style tub you see. In. We're going to make this into some form of puller tractor whatever you want to call it right we'll have a nip over this side you've all seen that pair too hey eh? the bollins i was telling you about have i ever showed you guys this have i ever showed you this 1055 bollins i can't remember does run runs nice actually 
I think I may have showed you this course. I think I got a comment. Why isn't that lifting up? Oh, the straps are on it. I think I got a comment on how somebody had grafted the starter motor on. Because, um, yeah, it's got a 10 horse Tech Mesh engine. But somebody shoehorned a starter motor on by putting a flywheel with a ring gear on. And a starter motor on it. I mean, it's crude. And I have put a battery on and it doesn't work. Is there a loose nut in there? There's a loose nut in there. Look. But I do think it could be made to work. But there you go. There is our 1055 Bollins. There we are. Oh, where's my strap gone for this side? There it is. Right. I think you've just about seen all we have now. You've obviously seen our whacker plate. We need to make a handle for that. So yes, these are the bits I've picked up recently. Have I picked anything else up recently? Uh, I'm sure I have. I'm sure I've done more developments. But I really don't know anymore. Is there anything under there? I don't think there is. I think that could well be the extra little bits we've picked up. I have some more stuff coming, which I bought off of the... Off? Off the Barry Hawkins machinery auction remember that live auction the well there weren't live the online auction which ended earlier on this week uh, ended on monday of the lays and all the engineering equipment i won seven lots so my buddy george is coming over tomorrow which is saturday he's bringing them with him and a couple of other mystery things that i think you may well like hmm. we will see Hang on, this is not that motor there, that isn't the one someone gave me at Haddenham. No, my mate George is bringing that over tomorrow, because someone give it to me at Haddenham, that's it. My buddy gave me an electric motor at Haddenham, a half horse, and um, I couldn't, well, I, yeah, it was a bit too heavy for me to lift back to the public car park. So I took it back to my mate George's stall, and when he comes over Saturday, he's bringing that motor and an interesting lamp that I'm going to convert to 60 volt as well, and a mystery engine. We won't say what it is, but a mystery engine. Right, I think we're going to call this a day for now. Call this video it. A bit of light Friday night viewing for you. Oh, I'll tell you what I didn't tell you. You remember our Lister G2 that we have under this sheet? Here we are. I managed to find a banjo to go on the carb and a fitting hose tail to go on the fuel tank. So the fuel tank is now connected up. I haven't put petrol in it yet, but it is all connected up. So at one point, we will put some petrol in here and see if we can get this thing running off its own carb. So yes, that is the G2. And this G2, what do you think should happen to this? Do you think it should stay on that trolley? And I just introduce myself to a lot of hard work winching it onto a trailer. Or do I get another small trailer permanently bolt that to? Or get a bigger trailer and put two engines on? I don't know. It is on a very substantial, heavy trolley, though, so let me know what you decide, guys. What do you think we should do? Leave this on a trolley and just winch him up on the trailers? <laughs> Don't know. Right. I think I have really got to have a tidy up about here. This shed is looking a shambles. 20 by 10 and I can hardly get in it. Never mind. All this stuff, long-term storage, you've seen all that before. Oh, my God, I've just noticed it's Friday the 13th. That is not good. Right, I'm going to go, guys, and I will see you next time. Probably, I'll probably, or I will do Swaffham Auction. I will be filming that tomorrow. I shall go for my look round bright and early in the morning and possibly go back to film in the afternoon. I really don't know. It depends what time George is coming over because um, we are going to be putting... That rusting out there, the one you see out the window, we're going to be putting that onto a different trailer. So, yes, that's the plan. Right, we're going to go and we will see you next time. Yeah, I might I might even film us putting that rusting on another trailer. Right, see you next time, guys. 
Bye bye for now. Thruston. One. VTH. Oh, by the way, that engine is going to Henham Grand Steam Rally next week. Ah. Bye bye, guys.